There will be lots of activity on the border this weekend as elected officials and citizens weigh in on state-led border security efforts. It is as lawmakers in Washington wait to see the text of the much-talked-about border security bill. Fox 4's Blake Hansen live with the latest on all of that, Blake. This evening, Heather, at least one Senate negotiator says, says the bill has been finalized, the text due to be released sometime this weekend, but its prospects in Congress are unclear, leaving the future of border security in question. With the number of illegal crossings down in the state fortified area around Eagle Pass, a group of Texas congressional Republicans urged Governor Abbott Friday to stay the course, writing, the U.S. Constitution guarantees that states would be protected from a federal government that would defy the law and force a state to endure a foreign invasion. At a campaign event in North Texas Friday, Governor Abbott criticized President Biden's handling of the border. He has abandoned his ability to claim the superior right to enforce the laws, and he's empowered Texas. Because of what he's done, Texas faces imminent danger every day, and we are facing the forefront of an illegal invasion into our state. The comments come as 14 Republican governors head to the border this weekend, including some who vow to send more manpower and resources to help state-led border security efforts. Democrats say it is wrong for the state to wrest control of the border from the feds. The governor even knows what you and I have known for a long time. Immigration is a federal responsibility, not a state responsibility. Citizens are also headed to the border this weekend. The Take Our Border Back convoy stopped in Dripping Springs Thursday night. Nicknamed God's Army, the group says it will peacefully protest the federal government's border policies. Meanwhile, a progressive Christian organization called Common Good arrived to confront the convoy. And I'll tell you that as a Christian pastor, I want to say to my other Christian friends who are part of that convoy, slander is something we should avoid. And they are slandering these people who are seeking to come into the country, and they're slandering the people who live in these border communities. The Senate could begin debate on border security legislation as soon as next week. But the text, which will outline the plan's specifics, still has not been released. But I'm not going to vote for a bill that is going to hamstring a future president. There are reports that an impeachment vote for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas will happen sometime early next week. Republicans have a thin majority in the House and can only afford to lose a handful of votes. Stephen Heather.